Girls volleyball action from Whitney High School on Tuesday night as the two seniors for the Wildcats honor Mackenzie Berlin and Corey Silva. Berlin even sang the national anthem prior to the match against Rio Americano. Wildcats came in tied with El Camino for first place in the Cal. Rio Americano just behind them in third place. Rio Americano beat Whitney the first time around earlier in October 3-2. to two, So the Wildcats need to get a season split. Here we start off. That's freshman Sammy Shelton. That makes it 9-3 lead for Whitney early in the first. This time it's junior Callie Turner. Makes it 12-10 Whitney as Rio is trying to get back into this one. But here an ace for Shelton gives Whitney a 25-15 first set. Let's head on over to the second set with Macy Hayden. Freshman at the net. Crowd loving it. She'll get the kill. 25-18 second set win for Whitney. Up 2-0, looking for a 3-0 sweep against Rio Americano. Here in the third, Mackenzie Berlin, the senior gets into it. This one makes a 3-2 Whitney. Rio Americano would take a 5-3 lead, but then a 10-0 run for Whitney. There's Turner once again, would make a 14-6 before Whitney would hold off here. Corey Silva with one of her 36 assists. This time to Hayden. Makes it a 25-17 third set. Whitney sweeps Rio Americano and sets up a first place match Thursday at El Camino. Both teams 7-1 in league play. The winner will come away with the outright Capital Athletic League title. This was such a big win and it was just so special. My senior night was so special. It was like everything I could have wished for. We won, we did so great. We played as a team and it was so awesome. I was so excited for Thursday. And this was like the best we've ever played so far. And it was it was amazing to be here and play as a team. And for you watching your two seniors finish off their senior night, how big was it for you to be able to take what they've given you this year and be able to give back? It was great. I mean, it's only been one season with them. But they've taught me a lot, and I've learned a lot this season. Um, it's honestly like there's no words for it. Me and Corey both like said that this game is like the biggest game of our career right now, and it's honestly so exciting that we get to play teams like this for first place, and that even though we have freshmen on our team, like they still have the heart and the passion that us seniors do have. And I can't be, I'm like more than happy right now. Like I have no nothing to be mad about at all about that game. It's huge for me. This is this, this feeling is the reason why I coach. Uh, wins like these. So, is this the best performance this team has put in? Yes, uh, by far the best performance, executing from from the start of the game to the end of the game. So our best performance yet. So I feel we're peaking right at the right time. Hopefully, uh, we give El Camino a good shot. I know they're going to come out tough. So, it'll be. Sammy Shelton, the new phenomenon in Rockland. Yes, I can't ask uh, enough. About, I can't say enough about that girl. She works so hard. Uh, she comes to practice. Is hard. She works 110 percent. She listens. All the freshmen, all the girls on the team listen. But she's one of the hardest workers I've ever coached. So it pays off, in, as you can see. Senior night. You only had two seniors, yeah. but they're both huge contributors, especially tonight. Yes. How big is it for you to watch them go out on senior night with a win like this? It's the greatest feeling because it's, it has to be the greatest feeling because I've never been. We never won a senior night. Usually we, uh, we're up against Rio or El Camino and we usually lose it, so this is just huge. Uh, I'm happy for them that they got to experience this with all their fans in the stands. It was, it was huge, so. And reporting in Rockland for the Placer Herald, I'm Trevor Horn.